liking it. Uh, is that any good? You've seen it. It worked really well for Gosu. Uh, yes, the other day when they were playing against nine o'clock, you know, I expect them to perform well with these picks because these are picks that they're comfortable with. But to be honest, I kind of like uh, BTK pick because that Popon Koopa just made them move up a little bit more. Oh yeah, uh, so much early game pressure from Popo and Koopa and Lily here. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the draft first. Who do you think has the advantage on the draft this time around? I think this time around, um, I kind of like BTK's draft just because they have Elsmeralda who could dive in. They have Yuzong who could dive in on the marksman. Popo and Koopa could provide vision and stun. And Lilia, she hurts early game, so I expect BTK to play aggressive early. For me, I think Gosu still has the upper hand, um, especially with this Estes, because if you think about it, Estes just has so much to sustain, and I don't think any of the heroes um, for BTK could really burst them if this is like a close game. If it's a snowball game, sure, BTK could probably win, but if it's like a close game, uh, or if it even gets to late game, it's going to be really hard for BTK to burst any of these heroes whenever Zoltra has ulti. So, um, yeah, but yeah, let's get this going. Um, I think it was Gosu who got the litho. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, Zoltra funneling the uh, general here on the orange buff. Um, but let's just expect that BTK has the better early game because they do have the Popol. They do have the Lilia early game who falls off really hard late game. So uh, if I'm BTK, in order for them to win, they need to snowball, all right? They need to... Um, synergize their ganks like they did last game and also for the side laners I think Kosei really needs to catch up on Cardi's rotation because last game Kosei got out rotated by Cardi he made him look like a baby he look, it made him look like a little child but um, yeah hopefully that changes this time around and we get a close game BTK ahead of gold by 200 so that just means that they're doing something a little bit better in the early stage of the game um, but it is understandable, like I said, they have the better early game. The turtle's gonna be up soon. Let's see if there's gonna be vision and traps being put by Popol and Koopa here to take this turtle. Granger does about, um, you know, Granger does really good on turtles as well since he clears the jungle camps really fast with his first skill. So let's see if they actually start this turtle. Bakshi is gonna be here. He knows that um, Granger is in this bush right here, just zoning for Kosei, but. Paquito might be getting out rotated by Cardi this time around. So Cardi was the Alice last game, but he has the Esme this game. Um, last game he out rotated an Esmeralda, but this game I think he's planning on out rotating this Paquito. Um, but Paquito is also at mid lane getting ready for a 5v5 brawl here on Turtle. Um, let's see, is Zoltra level 4 yet? No, the SS is not level 4 yet. Um, the Feather Airstrike already getting wasted right there to try and poke out the, um, the, um, the Popolent Koopa. Um, to get him low so that they have the advantage when the team fight starts to go. Estes healing the Paquito. Baksha going in already alone. Not really sure why, but the usual all gonna be ulting. Baksha is out of position. I, I'm not really sure why Baksha going in by himself just like that. And I think he he kind of got his teammates ruined because of Baksha engage. It's you know his teammates try to follow up, but it was not good positioning for Kosei. Kosei man, he needs to step up. You really need to step up. This is the grand finals, bro. You need to think about your decision. Whoever is the captain, whoever is the shot caller for Gosu, you really need to tell your side laners to just chill out, engage whenever you need to, um, you know, be on the same page. Communication is the key. But it looked like right there, it was just miscommunication, I think. Because Baksha was going in on a 1v4 and nobody was even near him. The, the turtle hasn't even gotten started and he was already engaging and trying to zone. So it's just unreasonable right now for, for Kosei. Oh man, this is not looking good. Not good for, for Gosu. So 3-0, 3-4-0 trade in favor of Gosu plus the turtle. Paquito doing a 1v1 against this Esmeralda. But like I said last game, right? Esme is usually good against Paquito because so much sustain. Paquito cannot kill you because you have so much sustain. Um, Esmeralda had to use Falling Star Moon just to survive. But I think Cardi kind of, um, how do you say this? Panic a little bit. That was like an early purify and um, you know an, an early falling star moon, but it doesn't matter. He lived, he survived. That's what's important. Um, a little um, panic right there, but here we go. Both teams are mainly here at the mid lane. Uh, the turtle will be up soon in 30 seconds, and I think Yuzhong is kind of leaving his lane. Box is getting some free farm at least. 
Oh man, I really think Gosu has this this matchup. It's a side lane difference. I'm I'm really seeing the the experience now between the side laners, because for the side lane they uh they have Stoner and Kosei for Gosu and BTK. Um, they have Cardi and Chicken who has way more experience than both these guys. So it's really showing right now. It's a it's a side lane difference. I could definitely see. But again, Bakshi going in on a 1v4, a 2v4. Estes trying to heal up, trying to sustain. But Bruno gets a kill on Popol and Koopa. And this is the Estes that I was talking about earlier. There's just no way for you to burst. But Lilia right now, early game, Lilia is still online. But Lilia might be too greedy here. Nice ulti from Hui to live um, that team fight. So it's going to be a 1 for 0. A 1 for 1 trade, sorry. Um, in favor of maybe BTK if they get this turtle. Let's see. Um, Estes doesn't have ulti anymore. Who's going to get it? Granger managed to retribution the turtle. So they do go ahead in that trade. BTK is going to win that trade. It's a one for one trade with a turtle on BTK side. So definitely a win. Every time someone gets an objective, it's always going to be on. Oh my god, what's happening here? Farsa trying to go for a feather airstrike to try and zone out the Lilia. But look at this. The, the falling star moon from Esme. He might be able to kill the Bruno, but the Estes is going to have to heal and waste the ult heal already. Um, so yeah, every time Zultra uses the ulti, I'm sure BTK is keeping track of that cooldown. Alright, um, as soon as Estes ultis, it's the opportunity for BTK to go aggressive and commit to a specific lane or a specific objective. Let's see if BTK is going to take advantage of that fact. Paquito is going to do a 2v1 here on the top side and this is, this is, look! Look at the discipline from BTK. They don't even care about Paquito. This is what I was talking about last... Wait, is that a pause? Yeah, but let's talk about the game. This is what I was talking about last game. Last game, they killed the Yuzhong. And they ended up... Uh, Gosu killed Yuzhong. And they ended up chasing. But look at BTK. They didn't kill anyone. They just made Paquito back off. And they just focused on the tower. And they focused on objectives. That's the discipline you want to see from your team. But we're going to have a pause real quick right here. Hopefully, we get things going soon. Um, I, don't, I don't really know what's happening right now, but I think Pika might, might check with the uh, with the referees or something um, to see what's ho what's happening. Some somebody might have lagged out. I'm not sure, but yeah, that that's the that's the difference that I'm seeing right now. Just the experience, man, from from both teams. So um, here we go. Nothing. Um, just a pause. What do you guys think so far based on what's happening in the game? Who you who do you guys think is gonna win the series? All right, not the match, the series. Can we get a, a, a spam in chat again? Can we get a hashtag BTK or hashtag Gosu in chat? If you still, you know, if you're a solid supporter of Gosu, obviously you don't want to give up on him. Uh, if you're a solid s supporter for BTK, it's looking good for you right now because they are definitely showing the experience difference. So, yeah. Let's see here. Hopefully we get started soon. Just a quick shout out to Muntan, by the way, for hosting this tournament again. This is the first ever um na tournament that is ho uh, sponsored by moonton um the tournaments before were hosted by assassin dave himself so yeah but it was not sponsored by moonton here we go the, uh, the game will resume in five seconds so let's get let's get things going um the gold lead will go to btk just 2000 gold lead not super big not super convincing just yet so let's see if gosu can come back from this they definitely need pickoffs Zultra, Eugen, and General, they're definitely sticking together. Here goes the Feather Airstrike, but not going to kill anyone. Lilia is forced to ulti though, so I think that's going to be an advantage for Gosu right there to keep track of the Lilia ulti. Knowing that Lilia doesn't have ulti, this is a chance for them to go aggressive on that Lilia and kill him before his ulti comes back. Oh, Popol and Koopa though, doing pretty good poking and harassing on General. Farsa is used to... Uh, Farsa got forced to use the, the the bird. That's not good, Eugen. You you you're out of position. You have no bird. Oh man, that oh god, that is not good for Gosu. They're overstaying. Eugen used the bird for no reason. But all right, here we go. It's a three for zero, tra four for zero trade in favor of BTK, and they're going aggressive now. They want to do a wipeout, and this might be a little too greedy for Yuzhong. But like I said, discipline, discipline from these guys. Waiting for the minions. Focus on objectives. No need for wipeout, no need for kills. Focus on objectives. Objective is the key to win the game. And BTK is showing just that. Gosu is definitely looking unexperienced right now. Definitely a one-sided game so far. One-sided series so far. Jeez. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm actually speechless. I expected like a, a really close match. But BTK really showing superiority here.
um, in the game. So, man, if they want to win, they need to really take care of General. And Eugen needs to uh, to not be able to go out of position. If he misses positions again, just like he did last time be uh, on that last team fight, it is not going to be good. It's not good. It's not going to be good news for Gosu. But the gold lead, finally a 5,000 gold lead. And there you go, Granger going aggressive again. Popo Koopa going for an OT. And the Granger also went for an OT. Yu Zhang goes for an OT on Estes. They want to kill this Estes. But they know that they don't need to go full out on this Estes, especially if he has his OT out. Farts are going for a Feather Air Strike. But the Yu Zhang needs to retreat. They don't want to go for a team fight right after that. So Yu Zhang doesn't have the Dragon anymore. BTK definitely needs to play a little bit more passive. And there goes the Granger damage on the Paquito. Um, he, they need to back off a little bit. There's a five-man brawl here on the... The bot side, nobody's even split pushing on the top side. <laughs> Both side laners are on the bottom side. It could have been a chance for Gosu side laner to split push the top side. Jeez, Paquito, you should be pushing top lane because you have a Farsa who could wave clear. As long as your teammates could wave clear, there's no way for BTK to push your lanes. So it would have been better for you to stay in lane rather than to rotate and have nothing happen. All right, the turtle's not even up. You're not contesting for a lord. You're not contest contesting for a turtle. You know, they really need to focus on objectives. And Estes getting bursted by Granger ulti right there. The death sonata right there from Granger. Hitting every single bullet from Moba Zane. And this is an easy power again for BTK. Definitely looking like a one-sided match right now. It, it is <laughs> it is not good. It is not. If you're a Gosu fan, it's not, it's not looking good for you. I'm sorry. Not trying to be biased, but just based on what I see. It's, it's not looking good. Uh, um, here we go. The Lord is up. It is a level 1 Lord. And Gosu does have the Farsa to wave clear that Lord. But I just don't think it's enough. Go Again, Eugen is 0 2 1. So he's not going to have, you know, the most damage. Um, General is 1 2 and uh, 0 or 1 2 1. Somewhere there. Um, he's All I know is he's not super fed. So it's going to be hard for them to even wave clear um, a level 1 Lord. Because BTK has so much zoning. They have the usual dragon to zone. They have Koopa to zone with a bite. They have Lilia's second skill to zone and a falling star moon to zone. Granger zones as well with the Death Sonata OT. So like each of their heroes have zoning skills. Farsa, the only zoning um that ha that those who has is Baksha, Paquito, and Farsa. That's about it. Bruno doesn't zone. Estes doesn't zone. But it looks like they want to start uh, BTK trying to bait out the Lord here. And Gosu, Gosu already using the Estes OT way too early, I would say. The knockup not gonna hit. Paquito is gonna knock up the Yu Zhang. Going for a dragon killing spree coming in from Granger. Look at the death scenario. All the bullets hitting for Moba Zane. The mechanics from Moba Zane is just not missing. It's the grand finals and he's showing up. And Estes needs to back away. Paquito is gonna go for a knockup, but he's still gonna die. He's gonna get stuck. He's gonna get stuck. Manny Pacquiao is getting cornered right there. And there it goes. This is gonna be a free lord for BTK. And again, they're not, they don't want to wipe out. BT doesn't want to wipe out. They don't want all the kills. Just focus. They're so disciplined. The, just objectives, man. All objective minded. It's it's just so good for BTK right now. There goes the Feather Airstrike. Estes, how did you die there? That is, there's no reason for you to die. So, mispositioning again. What, I think Ghost is, Ghost is, they're, they're panicking. I could tell by the way they play. They're definitely panicking, guys. And right now, BTK is playing way more confident now that the score is 13-1. They're playing more confident. They're throwing out stickers. They're recalling in front of their faces. Gee, oh, God. This is, yeah. Ghost is falling apart little by little. They need to regroup. Re um, yeah, they need to regroup and uh, reset their mental, um, you know, their mentality. Have a full reset next game, hopefully. And, and you know, do better in execution. Because their draft, their draft is not bad. Let me tell you, their draft is not bad. It's actually really good. But the execution is just not there. And BTK is just showing more chemistry as a team. But well, here we go. Um, like I said earlier, Yu Zhang does have ulti to zone. Let's see if he's going to use the dragon to zone the enemy here. Feather airstrike already getting used by Farsa. So no more wave clear for Farsa here. Let's see if Yu Zhang's going to use the dragon here. There's the zoning dragon that we see here. Um, and this might be it. Estes getting bursted again. And, oh god, this is a one-sided game. I'm, yeah, one-sided game. Popol Koopa just bit General in the butt. And double kill coming in from Granger. Moba Zane. Um, Yu Zhang died, but I don't even think it matters at this point. Farsa trying to wave through with a feather airstrike. But, oh, they live another day. I'm surprised they didn't finish the game. But alright, Gosu 
will have a breather right now and live another day. They ended up defending and they're good to go. They managed to defend one inhibitor tower here at mid lane. So they're still alive. They're still in the game. Let's not lose hope. They're still in the game. Um, the Lord will will not be up anytime soon. There's not even a uh, there's not even a timer yet. So this is the best thing to do here for BTK. Probably freeze the lane, force Gosu to get out of the map, and get some pickoffs. So they they don't get to farm. That's probably the best thing to do. But look at BTK on the bottom side. There's a full out brawl going on right there. Um, can we get a camera on Esme right there? Yeah, there's a full out brawl right there on on the bottom side. But um, Gosu retreating and peak of life emote. On the popular Koopa. Oh yeah, the, you can tell that BTK right now, just so confident. Just so confident. Um, I thought that they, that they were going to have like, you know, they're going to be nervous or, or something. But from what it looks like, you know, they're not nervous anymore. They're definitely playing and it looks like they're enjoying the game. It's not really disrespecting, I would say. It's at the end of the day, when you throw an emote or a recall on an enemy team, you're testing their me mental capabilities. So it's still a mental fight, uh, you know, from bo both teams. Fars is going for a feather airstrike, but there's just so much damage from Lily and Granger that those two cannot do anything. They can't do anything on Teamfight. Shut down, coming in from Paquito, but I don't think that changes anything as well. Um, there goes the Yuzhong getting another kill. Legendary for Moba Zane and game number two. BTK, they're looking to sweep the series. Oh man. Congratulations to BTK again for getting another match. It's 2-0, but it's not over yet. It's not a best out of three, it's a best out of five.